We work a lot with businesses in particular. And I think for all of the, the businesses that we talk to, I think there's, there's sort of two big conversations that people want to have with us. The first is, how do I demonstrate business value so I can get my CFO to continue to invest in AI? I think people are increasingly focused on not just for the potential of AI, but really like, okay, let's demonstrate how we use AI in business yeah. uh, to really drive tangible results. That's one aspect, and you mm -hmm. need some degree of observability to know if you're doing that. Yes. And then there's the, okay, now that we're seeing the big results, and now that we're using it for mainline tasks that are really driving business value, how does it not break? Uh, you know, I think a lot of people go through an experience where, you know, something goes wrong in their AI workflow. Maybe someone rolled out a code fix without it being fully tested, or someone mm -hmm. rolled a new model, and it improved on eight dimensions but regressed two. Yeah. And this people that's when people suddenly realize also, wow, I've really taken a dependency on AI. Yeah. And I now need the maturity level that I would have when I'm going to touch one of my core systems.